Hi everyone, my name is Shikin. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I will talk about the new technology which is Bioflock. This technology has been adopted by many countries and they have shown many successful cases. So this video will consist of six different episodes and this is the first episode. The first reason why we have to choose Bioflock as the culture technology is because we can reduce the feed amount we are given to the shrimp. Why we are so eager to reduce this feed is because the feed is very expensive and it can account for about 50 to 60 percent of your operational cost. This Bioflock they can help to reduce the cost by reducing the feed conversion ratio. What is feed conversion ratio? It's actually the amount of feed that we are giving or that we are providing to our shrimp to gain 1 kilo of body weight. Okay, the typical FCR that we can apply to our bioflock is between 1 to 1.5. Sometimes in our farm, we can gain intermittent FCR at 1. So how we do this actually? It's because the bioflock, they can convert the waste that is produced by the shrimp into another form of extra feed. But we cannot only rely on the bioflock to feed the shrimp. To illustrate this, we still need to provide their main meal for the breakfast, for the lunch and also for the dinner. And the bioflock, they will act as the snack or the supper for the shrimp. This bioflock, they consist of full microorganism which is responsible to convert the waste into the extra feed. The second benefit of using bioflock is we can reduce the water exchange. We know that the bioflock, they can convert the waste into another form of extra feed so that we can reduce the toxic ammonia in the water into this feed. Once we know that the waste can be converted into food, so we can save our water. Meaning that we can place our farm away from the sea. Giving an example, like us, we are located in Keluang, Johor, Malaysia, which is located 60 to 70 kilometers away from the nearest coast. Besides, we are in an industrial area, so we have to make our own seawater. So let's see how we make our own seawater. So here, we have a salt and we have a dechlorinated water. How we do this? We take the sea salt and mix into the dechlorinated water. After we have made sure that the salt already dissolved, we can measure the salinity by using refractometer. Okay. By making our own seawater, we can use back this seawater for one to two another culture cycle. So in this case, you can save the water usage, you can save the salt usage, and eventually you can save your cost. The third benefit why we prefer to use indoor bioflow is because we can have better biosecurity. Have you ever wondered why the farmer, they are not prefer to culture big shrimp? It's because they need more time to grow the shrimp and they need longer culture cycle which will increase the risk. Because in this time, we cannot control a lot of things. The first is the water source. If you locate your pond near the coastal or near the sea area, 
you might probably will directly pump the water into your pond. And you might not know, maybe the water will consist the disease that already discharged from the another form. And second is the bird who act as the vector for disease transmission. They might accidentally drop the stream that they already hunt from another pond into your pond. So by doing the indoor bioflop, you can control the water and you can keep the vector away so that your stream will grow bigger away from the disease. Next, another thing is that if you keep your facility indoor and you keep your stream indoor, you can prevent other people from stealing the facilities and also stealing your stream. So we have reached the end of this episode. To recap, in this episode, we already learned three different benefits if you are using BioFlock. The first is we can reduce the amount of feed. Second, we can reduce the water exchange. And third, we can have better biosecurity. So in the next episode, I will talk about the theory behind this BioFlock. Do subscribe so that you can get notification when the next episode is out. In the meanwhile, you can check our website in the link provided below. So if you have any question, you can leave your question in the comment. Then we will have a Q&A session at the end of this series. Thank you for watching.